Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and give me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. That 40 ish and under dollar range. Most of these are way less than that. And a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores. And I found one for you guys today. I've been seeing it pop up at my local rack stores. Never pulled the trigger on it until like several of you guys told me to check this one out since I was kind of, in a way, hyping up the vintage green as being this awesome springtime green tea kind of a fresh smooth type fragrance so without further ado let's talk about banana republic's linen vetiver all of these banana republics in this line um they all got the same shape bottle and everything this is the vintage green almost identical looking the cap is just a little bit lighter on this one and the atomizer for whatever reason on this one is a little better. Vintage green is decent. It just doesn't squirt out a whole lot, but it's a real nice fine mist. This one is both. It squirts out a little bit more, and it's still a nice fine mist. So if you're familiar with linen with um, vintage green, then this will make you immediately think of that. It will remind you of it because it shares more similarities than it differs. For example, um, the the vintage green is citrusy. It's green leaves. It's got this awesome relaxing green tea note in there. It smells like uh, a lemon green sweetened canned iced tea is what the, the vintage green kind of smells like. Real smooth, kind of a springtime like galore type of a fragrance. Whereas this one, the linen vetiver, the name almost makes it sound a little bit boring, but it's anything but that because you're mostly getting that crisp bergamot pedigree, which gives it a little bit of a sharpness, some florals, a little bit of powderiness, and some earthiness, some vetiver and oak moss. It's a whole lot like the vintage green, minus the green tea note, and add a little bit of darkness and some earthiness to it, and a bit of dustiness and some powder. And that's what you'll get with linen vetiver very crisp very fresh very uplifting and energizing green springtime summertime kind of a fragrance this one is just excellent for the high heat it's excellent for just going around casually um it's actually super versatile it's got a touch of class with that earthiness it's got a little bit of class and these banana republics as far as the quality to me are hitting way harder than what they're priced at. These are like 2.5 ounce bottles and they're $20 all day long, all day long. And the quality is that of like a mid-level designer fragrance, like, um, you know, Versace or something like that. I feel like this has the same kind of quality as you would find in, some, in, a, in a, a name like that. The performance on this is actually a little bit deceiving because on both of these I thought they were gonna be very weak because they're just so clean and fresh I thought they were gonna be very weak but they aren't the projection isn't the best this one projects a little bit better but it's still not the best it's maybe this one might be about average the vintage green might be a little bit less but overall performance I was believe it or not still smelling it on me like five and a half or six hours later every time I've wore this thing. It stays a skin scent for a long time, but I was able to smell myself decently and readily for at least three or four hours. Just constantly like smelling it without like having to have the wind hit me a certain way. I just kept smelling it and I was like, man, this thing, I'm enjoying this thing. It's a fun fragrance to wear. So again, daytime, summertime, springtime, hot temperature, casual, any age range, young or old, even though it's a little bit classy, super office friendly, incredibly office friendly, super inoffensive. Is it redundant to own both of these since they share more similarities than they don't? And I would say no, because it's pretty much the opening that it's like 80% the same. But when you start getting to that dry down and the vetiver, and as the name implies, like the linen, the 
earthiness, the oak moss, the dustiness, the powderiness starts to come out a bit more, still maintaining that crisp, bright bergamot. The sharpness starts to fade away a little bit from the pedigree. That's where this thing differs the most. Now you're maybe sharing 50% similarity. So I say it's not redundant to own both of these. And um, overall rating, it's a seven out of 10. Even if the performance is average, this thing is very good smelling. Very good smelling. I'm gonna wear the daylights out of this thing and enjoy every second of it. So yeah, you guys were right. Banana Republic's Linen Vetiver is a solid hit. So with that, I'm out. That's my final thoughts on Banana Republic's Linen Vetiver. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.